Good morning, boys and girls. I have a question for you today. What do you do when you need to make an announcement? Many of your parents probably read a newspaper, although a lot of newspapers have gone online. Here you will see some pictures of a newspaper clipping. And this is how, in the past, important announcements were shared. People would share about the birth of a child or a wedding or an anniversary. It was one way to share the information. It makes me think of today's lesson. In today's lesson, Jesus has an important announcement to make. The only difference that in Jesus' day, there were no newspapers to make an announcement. So, Jesus stood up in his church and made his announcement. The announcement that Jesus was to make was very important. He was getting ready to teach and preach God's message. He decided to begin in his hometown. Here's how he made his announcement. He went to his church. It was called the synagogue. At his church, he was invited to read the Bible lesson. It was from the book of Isaiah. Jesus read how God's special message would rescue people who were in trouble. Everyone listening to Jesus was certain that only God could do what Jesus' Bible reading said. When Jesus finished his reading, he told everyone that the words he just read were about him. That was the announcement Jesus made. Jesus told people that he was the one who God sent. So the next time that you hear an announcement or see one on TV or in the newspaper, think of Jesus. He made an important announcement in church. He announced that he was the one sent from God to save us all. Before we go today, will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for sending your son Jesus. Thank you so much for the announcement that he made proclaiming your words. Please allow us to live into those words each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Of great joy. Of great joy. With great joy. Of great joy. For all people. Of hate. For all people. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Now let's get to work.